Uh, March 21st today is World Down Syndrome Day and we're going to sock it with the oddest pair of socks we have. Uh, this drill I often see in golf, most amateur golfers, you know, they try and hit the golf ball further or they want to hit the golf ball further by turning, say resisting the hips and turning the shoulders. That only works for elite golfers to control the golf ball. If you're trying to swing the golf club by using your body, if your body's dictating how your arms are swinging, you really want to be a lead player. Most amateur golfers want to use their arms to dictate how the body's working. So if I was you, I would concentrate very much on swinging your hands, arms, wrists, and make them drive your body in the golf swing. It will give you a better strike and better power. And look, if it gets too much and it gets unwieldy and you're hitting it too far and you're hitting too big a hook, well, we can always add a bit of body in at that stage. This is the drill I would use for you. Line up a few balls and at about 70-80% just go down the line. Not really too worried about strike, just hit them nicely. And as you can see, my hands and arms are going to be doing all the work in that movement. Another alternative to that is again, just do a really, really short half swing, like so. And again, that will get your hands and arms driving your hips out of the way. Use every amateur golfer should have a very active hands, arms and wrists. Every amateur golfer. Yes, if you're elite, you start controlling with your body. But if you're just out there having fun playing sporadically every once a week or twice a week, start driving your hands and arms and make them move your body rather than getting your body to move your hands and arms.